Warning from plow crews. Give them some room. CDOT says we can't show you this video enough. We first showed it to you yesterday. A truck driver weaving between two plows on I-25. And if you think this is only happening on the interstate, think again. KRDO News Channel 13's Greg Miller joins us live in Colorado Springs. And Greg, the crews say do not assume anything. Yeah, James, plow crews are focused on their job, not you, and they need you to give them some room and take some responsibility if you've got to dig out of the snow to get on the roads. Susan Hip lovingly refers to her Volkswagen Beetle by the name Gertie. You know where to start. Gertie hasn't seen the light of day since last week because when road crews started clearing, they buried her car in the process. Not really. Uh, the alley parking, but it's just as deep out back there, if not deeper. Though at least she did clear off her car. That hasn't been the case for all drivers in the area. So she had to spend a lot of time unearthing Gertie. Even cars that made it out aren't necessarily safe. Here's an example of what could happen. Just came down I-25 and uh, there was a uh, car uh, in front of me um, that uh, they probably didn't spend uh, the time they should have clearing their car off. CDOT released this video of a truck weaving in between two plows. You have a guy that, or a gal that's driving a truck that requires a commercial driver's license, pushing a piece of iron in front of them, at the same time trying to put uh, stuff, material out the back, at the same time staying focused on traffic, trying not to cover uh, side Walks those kinds of things. Don't assume that these guys see you. As for Susan and Gertie, the dust off may take a while. She was not getting out of the snow. But at least she's safe on the road. Now, road crews will remain on that all call status for, for at least the next 12 hours as they try to get into some of the residential areas. Again, they're asking for patience, which is likely wearing thin for a lot of drivers as we hit the fifth day of battling these elements. We're live in Colorado Springs tonight. Greg Miller, KRDO, News Channel 13. All right. Thanks so much, Greg. And uh, as they say, it's usually the four wheel drives that get in those accidents because it's four wheel go, but not four wheel stop. So we need to remember that when we're on the roads and right.